Okay. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. Castlevania, Circle of the Moon. Press start button, data select. That guy's name. What's his name? Who knows? Who cares? Running around, running around. The object of today's um, test, the, uh, what's the term here? hopeful outcome is to see if all of this is recorded properly. Video, audio, and ahem, of course, voice. Why voice? Because, hey, because I can. Yes, indeed, I can. I can. I can. I can. Yes, I can. You can? No, you can't. Because you're not here. You'll never be here. Why? Because if you were here, well, that would just be weird. Weird. Don't you agree? Weird. If you were here, that would be weird. If you were where he was in the battle arena, that would be frightening. Why? Because what chance does a normal human stand against legions of monsters? A monster called Legion included. Actually, about three monsters called Legion included. However, if you're as strong as he is, <laughs> then you've got this pretty easy, I gotta say. Look at this. Came equipped with crosses, some kind of extraordinarily powerful whip for no particular reason. Came to slay Cataglapus, Gorgons, Were Jaguars, Were Wolves, and Wind Demons, and Witches, and. Well, they're not much of a threat, really. Ignore the fact that, you know, he just took a hit. Ignore the fact he picked up what has to be, like, the sixth sage armband he's received. Damn, because none of that stuff matters now. Right? Right. All that matters is beating stuff up, getting to the end of the arena, and claiming the prize, the shinning armor. And, no, I... I did not mispronounce that. that. That's literally how it's read. Shinning armor. Of course, to say what it really supposed to probably more than likely mean, we call it shining armor. Which has the, what? Second best defense boost in the game. And gives plus 10 to every other stat. But... <sighs> Well then, so you might wonder, what's the best defense boost in the game? Well, naturally, in any RPG game, the thing that gives the biggest boost to any stat normally has the detrimental cutback of taking away from other stats. And the same is true of the highest defense giving armor in the game. It takes 10 away from all your other stats. How fitting. You wouldn't believe what it's called. It's called the Dark Armor. And if you don't have the shining armor, or shinning armor, I think I'll just keep calling it shining. If you don't have the shining armor, which you won't if you haven't beaten this yet, unless of course you, uh, cheat a lot. Even I don't cheat that much. Cheat. I only ever cheat when I'm bored. And even then, I don't cheat. Cheating is... it's boring. So, it's best used to spice up a boring game. Ha ha ha. And, um, I think I made it pretty clear what game I think's boring enough to warrant using cheats. I can't help it. Base crosses us. Hey. That's right. I put that up. That means I can just... Oh. Well, hey then. I guess I might start... Yeah. I might play Battle Network 5 again. Dear Lord. Why? Except I'll play it more honestly, but still use the evil base cross power. Because base cross is too fun to, to just give up. Playing the game normally, yeah, it's alright, but... Well, base cross makes everything more interesting. That and being invincible to, uh, m for most of the game is... Some people would say it's unfair, I think it's pretty nice. Wow, I traveled this far away from Castlevania. Let's return, shall we? This is a bad arena. That's Nathan Graves. I think that's his name. These are Minotaurs. Minotaurs don't like people. 
at least they don't like Nathan. As you can see from them wildly, not even wildly, from them slamming their axe against the ground and making a shockwave. A very tall shockwave. <coughs> Jesus. <sighs> I've got problems. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways. Minotaurs. They've got problems. Oh well. This is Succubus. And Arachne. Is that how you say that? I'm pretty sure it is. Ugh. Jeez. But I can't be too sure. What thinking does to people, it makes them have to stop and think. There's only three more rooms left, which means... Oh no, my mistake. Four rooms left. Uh, three of them are difficult. This is one of them. One of the more difficult rooms. This and the Minotaur. Well, they'll probably make you give up a good battle arena run. Unless you either have a lot of health or a lot of items. And having a lot of health is probably the saving grace here. <coughs> Unless your evasive skills are up to par, and... Well, then, there's no problem. Because even playing on fighter mode, you still want to be able to dodge. You still want to have some amount of HP. But this is the best place for a fighter to gain some experience. Seeing as how the fighter is limited in experience gaining ability compared to every other game mode, because it simply has no magical ability to boost its experience gain. So yeah, playing fighter mode might make one very much acquainted to this area. Not like it's all that bad anyway. Once you get used to it, you just fly through this place. In less than 10 minutes. Oh, look at that. Less than 10 minutes. Oh, the other room. Uh, the evil room, it's over. Those guys turn you to stone, the statues that spit out stuff. And the, what is it called, devil armors or black armors, I don't remember. Those guys are evil. Because they shoot those weird things at you. The white armor's a joke, it only hits, you know, at head level. The devil has to be the worst part of this all, because most of the time... Or at least on any normal run, you're probably nearly dead by now, and this guy will be more than happy to give you that fatal hit that'll drop you and end this for good. Because the devil's a crafty one. And seeing as how this enemy gives the most experience out of every normal enemy in the game you can fight, he doesn't want to go down easily. Unless, of course, you're powerful. In which case, he has no, you know, he has no power over you. And you can run back and do whatever room of the arena you want. Have fun. Whew. Okay. I think it's time to stop the voice recording and time to review the video. Why? Because I need to see how everything came out. And that's important. Verily. <laughs>